Okay guys, so first thing I want to do with this guy is it's daytime. I want to just check out a couple things out there. We're going to kind of see how this guy works in the daytime. I let it cool for about 20 minutes. Yeah, it feels a little chilly. It should be already uh, cooled down. So we're just going to take a look first. And then after that, we're going to put the camera adapter to it and maybe look at some of the tree there, maybe a light pole, maybe that building all the way down there and just see how it works in the daytime. Here's another thing I've done. To keep this screw kind of tight, I applied two earth magnets here. I think I'm just gonna put, because the 3M tape that holds them down still is not tight enough and it lets go after a while. So I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of crazy glue just to hold it down. But what this does is kind of holds the thing, but it's still, not interfering with any of these screws in case I have to touch it. Anyway, and it's on the SV Boney uh, mount, AZ mount. So we're gonna try to use it because it's very simple to use. And I have the focuser this way because if you put it that way, it's gonna interfere with this handle. But the good thing is because you can twist the focuser, you can do that. Now, I guess if you didn't have a rotatable focuser, usually you can twist the diagonal if you really had to. Okay, first, let me look at that tree. Okay, and now let's focus. You get a really big field of view. Focuser feels really nice. It is getting close. I think we're almost about a week away from uh, spring officially starting. Okay, I'm on a light pole right now. So right now we're at 500 millimeters divided by a 32 millimeter super plaza. We're at uh, 16 power. So that's almost like large binoculars are about 16 power. Uh, so that's kind of what this is. And the field of view is a 3.25 degree field of view. So that's pretty comfortable right there. That's about the field of view of the Andromeda Galaxy. Now, the sucker does have a two inch diagonal. So I could put a huge eyepiece like this. Now look at this. This is called an Axiom Celestron. 31 millimeter at 82 degree field of view. This is huge. You can twist for the eye cup to come up or down or the barrel to go up and down. Just to compare, this is a 32 millimeter inch and a quarter and this is a 31 millimeter. So really, the field of view will be a lot more in this one. Let me see. It's almost gonna be the same power, 16 power, so same power. The equal length of the eyepieces is only different by one millimeter. Now the field of view with this guy here brings it to 5.1 degree field of view. Oh yeah. Now I can see more, but I can't see that light pole plus all the way to the trees beyond where I couldn't see it with a 52 degree field of view. But again, for daytime, you don't really need huge field of view. Anyway, let me show you guys. There's no way I could put a camera adapter onto this guy. Actually, even with this big of an eyepiece, it's not moving at all, it's solid. So the only way I could probably do it is put the eye, the phone here, or go back to the 32 millimeter and put that through the telescope. Okay. It's not too bad holding it. With other eyepieces, it was really hard. Let's try this combination here. Okay, like this is much easier. And here you go. Now you can see that light pole. It's easier to control. I can use the slow motion controls. 
Okay, I'm looking at that pole over there. Kind of neat, I think. So in the daytime, this little guy can actually do, I don't want to be a peeping Tom, you know, type of thing, but it's just to show you guys what can be done. Okay guys, so that's a little taste of what this guy can do in the daytime. And uh, that's it. So uh, yesterday was the new moon, which means today, only one day after, even though it's starting to thin the clouds, it's gonna be too close to the sun. So I gotta wait another like three days or something like three or four days, and then we're gonna test this guy on the moon and on Jupiter. And um, that's it, I guess. Uh, that video will be only on the members video, so I encourage you guys, if you haven't joined or be a Patreon member, why not start now? It's only 99 cents a, a month. That's it guys, so like, comment, and subscribe. I've also done on the members channel, I mean, if you guys are interested in seeing, I also show a Teleview 85, what it can do in the daytime. Uh, I even pushed it to 200 power. Um, so if you guys want to see that type of telescope, that's only on the members video as well. And I've also done the Takahashi 102 FS as well as a 128 uh, Takahashi, uh, that type of thing. So there's lots of great videos on the members video. So why don't you guys join? If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I'm just explaining, you know, I got to put some videos there, obviously. Uh, so some of the testing videos uh, are on there as well. So if you'd like to support the channel go on there, no problem. If not, that's okay too. But anyway guys, that's it for this video. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anybody getting into the hobby, share my link with them. If on any of the forums and maybe somebody's asked about a video about this tripod or maybe this telescope, um, share my link and say, hey, this guy has done a video with it. The cap just fell. Oops. Uh, take a look at his channel. Anyway, and um, that's it. Why not you? Why not me?